Hello and welcome to my channel. Today is part two of my Arduino case series on, on FreeCAD. And you can see here I have pictured the finished product of the lid. And that's what we're gonna, gonna be working on today. As we work on this project together, I want you to keep in mind that this is a work in progress. So it's not a perfect model. I think I have some errors still that, we, that I need to work out. Um, so if you come across any, you know, feel free to comment. And even if you have a better way of doing it, I'd like to see that as well. So I'd like to introduce that to as many people as possible. So with that, we're gonna look next at some of the mistakes I did catch, and then we'll get into making the lid. Before we get started with the lid, I have to correct some errors that I introduced um, during part one. One is that, you see this is my reference drawing, you see the ports are facing the X positive direction, but you see in the recording drawing, I, I made them in the X negative. And this is generally not a problem, but it'll create some confusion when we're flipping stuff around. The other thing I did, which you, you'll not see reflected here, is at the end of the video, at around 17 minutes 30 seconds, I put in 3.97 for the distance from this corner to the center of this post. But as you see here, it's it's actually much more. It's a uh, 13.97. So I missed that number. I missed that 10, the uh, tens place there. So you, you'll have to correct that in your drawing if you didn't already and we'll get started. So to add a lid to this part, we're gonna add a second body. And it might, it might be better suited to have a separate part, but I'm gonna do it as a body for today. So with the part selected, I'm gonna do add a body. So you can see my body is there. And for some reason, even with the part selected, so I'm gonna drag the body in there. So there might be a different technique that makes it automatically. And then I'm gonna copy all the sketches from the first body and this kind of shows you that you can do this but there are some drawbacks so I'm going to do edit copy I want to say no to dependencies so with my second body active and you see that with the blue highlight and I did that by double clicking it I can paste and I can paste from anywhere and it'll paste it into that body sort of so you can see that it's at that level but it's not in the body so to move them in the body I can select all of them and drag it on the body. Now you could also do a right click and move object to other body, but that makes my uh, my FreeCAD crash. So the next thing we'll be doing is adjusting these sketches for the new body. So I've renamed all the sketches so that they're easier to identify and you'll see which one's which as we work through them. So the first thing we're gonna do is pad this outer pad sketch and we're gonna use a formula to do that and within the spreadsheet, I've added a value called total case height. And we're going to subtract from that the pad height from the original body, which is just called pad. And that's the outer pad or the, the main pad here. So that, so that gives us the, this pad plus this pad equals 20. So we're going to say OK to that. The next pad I want to do is the lid lip. But I want to move that up one in this order. So I'm going to move this... Um, move this inner pocket after the object and we're going to pick lid lip. So that's going to reposition it for us. So now I want to pad this lid lip, but first I want it to be mapped to this face. So I'm going to pick this face. I'm going to do map and I'm going to pick lid lip, lid lip and flat face. Now I'm going to pad the lid lip to three millimeters because that's the distance we put in here. And I don't think I have that per parameterized yet. So that's okay, we'll just leave that. Once that pad is complete, we're gonna map the inner pocket to this face. So I'm gonna select map, mapping a face, and we're gonna select inner pocket and okay, and okay, and you see that's mapped. And now we're gonna pocket this. And for the pocket, we need a formula. The next piece we have to pocket is the inner pocket. So we'll select pocket and the dimension is going to be um, 9 plus 3 because that was the height of our main plus 3 for the lid. But we need, let's first get the, um, the wall thickness from our spreadsheet. So we do spreadsheet oh, and wall thickness. So that's 03. So now I'm going to go here and I'm going to do 9 plus 3 which is 12. So 12 minus wall thickness, it's 10.4. So although that's not fully parameterized, we'll have to work on that. Um, that gets us to where we want to be for our lid, so it's good for now. So the next thing we have to do is deal with the posts. 
So for the posts, the first thing we have to do is copy the sketches, the sketch, because we're going to have two pads and the second pad is going to go into this hole on the lid. So um, I'm just going to do a control C and I'm going to say no and a control V that puts it down here. So I'm going to drag it onto the body. And now we have two posts. Now we have to edit those to remove for the first one, the inner circles. And then for the second one, the outer circles while leaving the measurements. So I'm going to do that offline and then just describe what I did. So here I have the first set of posts redone and you'll see I've removed the inner circle. So they're going to be contained in this post and they'll be padded from the top of this post. So let's go ahead and pad this first one and then we'll do the second one. So now we want to pad our new post sketch. So, but first we want to map it to this face. So I'm going to select the face and select map and select posts and now we want to pad this and I've put into my co my um, uh, copy buffer what I call it anyway the so this is the formula so I take the total case height from our spreadsheet I subtract out the post height from the base and two wall thicknesses because I have the bottom wall thickness and the top wall thickness I have to multiply that one by one millimeter so it's typecast correctly and then the final thing I have to add is board thickness. So let's subtract out a spreadsheet. And I think it's board thickness. Yep. So that's the final dimension of our um, of the bottom post. And then we're going to add a smaller post that will fit into the other. So you'll see here I've edited my second set of post sketches. And I'll show you what I did there. So you'll see very quickly that I removed the outer circle and just left the inner one. I had to re-add all of the all of the constraints to get um, to get it finished because that when I deleted the outer circles, I lost some of the constraints. So you can pause the video and make this sketch look the same. You also notice that I I mapped or I constrained these centers to the center of to the origin here instead of to the corner, and that moved the external geometry that I didn't have to use. You'll also see that I've mapped this sketch to the surface of this of, of these posts. So if you select that plane and click map, uh, map a sketch to a uh, face and pick, pick the posts, you can map just directly to any surface. And you'll see that, you know, these go with it, sort of. Um, so the next thing we need to do is pad this sketch. So we'll hit pad and we're just going to do it to, to uh, I think, four that should go far enough into the other holes. We'll... The final sketch that we have to tweak is the USB and power sketch. So we're going to open that up and you'll see we have some constraints to external geometries. Those are going to cause problems because we're going to be reversing the sketch. So the, the one we have to delete is this one right here. So we're going to delete this one and then we're going to we're going to create a new constraint to the center point. If you don't move anything you're, you, you don't have to actually enter any values. Um, or if you can, if you create it before you delete the other one, that's good too. These height ones are okay because we're not going to be, we're not going to be, uh, reversing it in the, uh, Z axis. It's only going to be in this direction. So we'll close that one. So the problem that we're facing in order for this lid to flip over is that the, these posts and the USB have to be a reverse of the body. So if I, if I bring this fillet in, you'll see. If I flip this over, this post will hit here and this power will be over the USB. So we've got to flip things around a bit. So we're going to start with the USB and power. So what we're going to do is if we select the sketch, we select map reverse and put true, it's going to flip it around for us. And you'll see now the USB and power is where we need it to be right over top. And that was where we were able to do that because we uh, did a length to the center. And so that's what it rotated around. So now with the USB and power correctly in position, we're going to do a pocket through the through the body there. And we'll just leave it at 5 and click OK. Now you'll notice that it didn't seem to work. It did, but it was just going the wrong direction. So we're going to sw switch reversed to true. So now it'll go through instead of, so right now it's pocketing in this direction. So once I click off of that, it'll update it. So now we have our correct pockets. 
So the, the last one we want to adjust are the two sketches for the posts. Now I should have probably done that before I padded them, but I think we'll be okay. So first I'm going to adjust these posts and I th think we can just do map reverse to true. And I think we'll be okay there because we did the center. So it reversed them, but in a, in a not the best way. So we got to fix that. We got to fix that up by doing, um, by changing the pad first, we're going to make that reverse to true and click off that. So now the pad is correct. And then we're going to rotate the whole thing by 180 degrees. Um, so we'll select the sketch. We'll do super placement. The axis is already correct, but we'll put in 180 degrees and that should get us what, what we need to be. So you see our posts are in the correct position now, but now we have to do that to the second set. So to fix the second set, I'll select posts and we'll do map reverse to true. We'll do the 180 degrees ahead of time so we don't have to come back to it. And it's already around the Z axis. Now we'll go to the pad. We'll pick reverse true. And that should get us where we need to be. So now all our, all our um, items are reversed the way we need them to be and that'll, everything will match up. The final sketch adjustment that we have to do is we have to move this power and USB port down into the lid so that when, when these are mated, they'll be tall enough for the USB and power. So we'll go into the, US, the USB and power sketch and, um, and we'll edit this. So it's gonna end up being about 2.71 and we're gonna try to do that a bit by formula. And it's gonna start out with spreadsheet, the total case thickness, which is about 20. And we're gonna have to subtract out the board thickness and we're gonna subtract out uh, the post height, so that's the other thing. So we're gonna get a negative at first. We're gonna subtract out one wall thickness and we'll leave clearance for now. And then we're gonna subtract out the height of the USB port, which is 10.8. Um, even though it says 1142 here, that's with two clearances. Um, and that has to be millimeters. So let's see which. So I think wall thickness, we gotta multiply that by one millimeter. So that, even though that says 16.94, we're going to add spreadsheet and we're going to do total case height. And so that's about right. So let's just subtract out a clearance and that should get us to where we need to be. And clearance. 2.81. Yeah, that was close to what I had on the other one. So let's copy this into the other formula here. So let's get that whole thing, copy, control C, and then copy it here. And that, and we'll just overwrite that formula, control V, and okay. So that should be pretty close to where we need it, and we'll find out when we print. So now you'll see, um, if we go to our, our uh, reference one, and pick the finished version, you'll see it's much lower to the bottom than, than it was. So at this point, we're just going to add fillets. So I'm going to add fillets offline for uh, for the posts. This inside diam this inside edge here, these edges here, and then I'll come back to show you how I do the final portion. This one's going to be a three millimeter. This is going to be one, and this is going to be two millimeter uh, radiuses for the fillets. So let's I'll go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. So as you can see, I've completed the fillets for the post. That's a three millimeter. This inside corner, one millimeter. This lid lip corner, which is two. And the outside corner, which is three. And that matches these fillets here. The final fill I'm gonna do is this, this edge here. Whereas it's a three millimeter here, you'll see that I can't do that on this one. That when I go try to go to three, it stops. It stays at two. And that's because the fillet would overlap this edge and FreeCAD won't do that. So we're just going to leave a two millimeter fillet for now. Um, and if I can ever figure out a way to deal with that, I'll, I'll let you know. I tried selecting edges and stuff and it didn't work. So that completes our lid design. In the next video, I'm going to show you, I'll do a slideshow of the results of, of it printing. And we'll probably do some tweaking on, um, you know, the port alignment and post alignment just to make sure theirs are absolutely perfect and I'll try to do some more printer fixing to get that better. Um, so let's bring up our page view real quick, our drawing viewer, and let's bring up, this is the result so far, that'll be in the slideshow show on the next video. 
and we'll go through you know some of the problem printing problems and some of the dimensional problems so if you like my videos subscribe for more you'll get notices if you click the alarm bell and make sure you share them so others can see thanks a lot and have a